Did you know there are areas of your business that can create income for you that you don't have to kill your body for? Well, let me let you in on that little golden nugget after this. Hello everyone, my name is Scott Heimler and thanks for tuning into my channel today. I'm the creator of Successful Small Service Contracting where I show you how to control your income, your schedule, and your future in your own single operator service or contracting business while keeping your overhead low and your income high. I've operated my own single operator service company for over 30 years and I have taught hundreds of people to be successful in there since 1999. Okay, let's talk about the three different areas in your business that you create income for, that will create income for you without killing your body. It is referred to as passive income. Passive income refers to income that requires little to no effort uh, to earn and maintain if you didn't know that. So number one, Mark up on your materials. You should always purchase materials that you use to complete your work wholesale, if at all possible. It's perfectly acceptable to then raise the price of those materials to a retail price, and many times higher because you deliver and warranty them. And how much can you mark them up? Well, it depends on the item. Uh, it can be 30 to 100% more. As a general rule, the less expensive the item is, the more you can mark it up, and the more expensive the item is, the less that you can mark it up. But always make a profit on an item that you provide to the job or service materials. In the occasional case that you have to buy your materials retail, you still have to mark them up the same. Now keep in mind, you drive to get them, you shop for them, you order them, you pay for them, you deliver them, and you warranty them to perform for a set time. These materials have created work for you to do, so if you work, you must get paid, right? Without a proper markup on materials at all times, you'll be out of business very quickly. Number two, another profit center within your business is using your trusted contract entrepreneur reputation to offer your clients items that pertain to their homes or office, but you know they may not think of. For example, a, uh, a plumber might recommend a system that prevents floods from broken pipes in the house when the owner is away. Um, an electrician might recommend a lightning arrestor for their home. An HVAC guy may recommend a whole house air filtration system to people with allergies. A housekeeper may offer to clean all the wet areas like bathrooms and laundry rooms and kitchens every other time they come by with an algicide to prevent mold. You know, these are all things above and beyond what you're there at their home or office to do. The trick is to soft sell so that you don't look like you're just trying to sell something for the sake of selling something. You're merely sharing your knowledge of your industry and your tools available for them to improve their homes and offices. And trust me, the quickest way not to sell something is the need to sell something, okay? It'll show and it just makes the client suspicious. And I'll link to Scott's rules of selling in the uh, description box on more on this, okay? Always pay attention nonchalantly to verbal and obvious clues in the home or office to what your client would honestly use and pr to protect their home and maintain their homes. Make notes about their potential needs in your service app in your phone. And I'll link to a service app that's just the greatest thing since popcorn called House Call Pro below in the uh, uh, comments or the uh, description uh, section. And send that client information about it in an email or even snail mail quarterly along with a service uh, special coupon. You know, a letter gets a lot of attention these days with email being so popular. And then, no, just mention that you saw that they didn't have X in their home and you would highly recommend that they have one to protect their home or office. You took the time to send that without pressure to them, and they, they'll have time to look at, into it in their own time. Believe me, if they even have a tiny bit of interest, it will prompt the client to call you about it when the next time comes or the next time that you're there. Do this over and over with your clients as you go to their home, and you'll see the huge impact on their business that it has. Number three. As you go in and out of your clients' homes and offices, you'll notice the non-movers, I call them. The things are toys that haven't moved since the last time you were there. Now, I'm ashamed of myself for taking so long to catch on to this fun and very profitable segment of my business. It's almost the hobby part of my business. I buy and sell the I want things that my clients are glad to get rid of. Examples of what I've bought and sold is exhaustive at this point in my career, but I'll mention a few uh, of the highlights for you here, okay? I have bought and played around with and sold 1969 Porsche Targa, many quad runners, 
1949 Harley Davidson motorcycle. That was fun. Dirt bikes, antique furniture, campers, motorhomes, rental homes, tools, uh, building materials, classic cars and boats. And the list goes on because I've been doing it, like I said, for the last uh, many years in my career, and I love it. It is just a matter of two things to be super successful at this, and I'm going to share the secret with you here at no extra cost, okay? Uh, wait a minute. This is a free video. Oh, well, here goes. Secret number one, have a watchful eye for this sort of thing. Learn to recognize a loss of interest. Uh, Non-movers, as I mentioned already. Things that have months of dirt and dust on them, you know, the, the owner has aged out of it or lost interest or the Mac Daddy here can no longer afford, no longer afford it. Life change and that change doesn't include whatever item they need to sell quickly. Secret number two, having the extra cash to tie up while you're playing with the new toy you just purchased before you resell it, if indeed you do that. A note here to be super successful at this game, okay? Don't be a collector, all right? Sure, there's going to be things that you'll find that are such a good deal. You'll want to keep because you love having it, and you most likely will never find a deal like this again. But for the most part, you buy and sell. Secret number four. I know, I know, I just said it was three secrets, but I just thought of this, and I want to give you a ton of value always. Secret number four, here it goes. As a contract entrepreneur, single operator, business person, you're going to be busy in your business. That's all there is to it. As people discover you as a top-notch human being who just happens to be the best at the service that they offer, your phone will ring off the hook for your services. Point is here, buying and selling is the most fun that you'll have with your clothes on. But buying things that need work and having the plan that you'll fix everything up in your spare time isn't going to work, Kimo Sabi. Ask me how I know that. Go ahead, I'll wait. I'm just kidding around. You won't have to buy. You won't have the time to buy, fix, and sell. So let me introduce you to a little trick, okay? Buy and sell. Skip the fix. Let me mention before I go any further. This just doesn't generally apply to what you do for a living, okay? Obviously, an auto mechanic is going to buy autos that need repair. A motorcycle mechanic is going to buy motorcycles that need repair. They will buy and sell within their industry, and that's great too. But it's a bit limiting. To be super successful at this crazy money hobby, you should be diversified. And did I mention not fix things? Or not very many things anyway. You want to buy at a price that will let there be you know, some meat left on the bone for the next person that has time and resources to fix and sell. There's a fine line between being greedy, wanting to make all the money in a deal, which will take more of your time and resources, and, and just letting the next person who buys it to make his or her money from it also. Well, folks, thanks for being here today. I always really appreciate your time. I hope this has helped you. And if, if it did, please subscribe and ring the bell and hit the like icon, okay? That way, every time I get a bright idea, I can pass it on to you. If you know someone that will get some value from my videos or our service and contracting system, please pass this on. There's going to be a link to my free workshop in the description box should you be interested in some of the secrets of being super successful in your own service or contracting business. Again, thanks for your time and you take care.